Hello, welcome to Scrap Time episode 884. My name is Christina. On today's episode, I'm showing you the Viva Color Crackle Paint. Today I'm going to be showing you the Crackle Paint from Viva Color. And what it does is it will give you an effect like this one here. And you can see I have some really big cracks in that going on. So I'm going to show you how to create this effect. So what you need to start with is a crackle base coat. This is for porous surfaces and if you're going to be doing it on glass you can also get one for non-porous surfaces. And I'm using the regular crackle paint. It's also available in micro. And I'm going to just do the sample on this tag here. And I previously uh, painted the background using the Honey Amber Silks Acrylic Glaze. So I'm taking my base coat. And just with the brush, I'm going to brush it on. And this is, you just need a really thin coat. It's sort of, um, it's not too thick. It's sort of like watery. It's almost like a glue. I'm going to just do a little bit more up here. So you can see I just put on a thin coat of that. And now I'm just going to dry it with the heat gun and it will dry clear. So that is pretty dry where we had a little bit um, thicker amounts like around the edge where it got caught but that'll be fine. I'm just going to wipe off this excess. So now it is time for the crackle paint. And when I'm applying this I like to use um, one of these little palette knives just because this can get caught in your the bristles of your brushes. This is a lot thicker than the previous. You can see it's pretty thick and depending how thick you put it on will depend um, how big your cracks will be and you want to put it on in the same motion. So I'm coming towards me here and I don't always put it on um, evenly like the same thickness just so I can get variation of cracks going on. So you're sort of spreading it on like you would spread icing on a cake and then I'm just going to Wipe that off. You can um, rinse it with some water that, but I'm just wiping it off for now and closing this up. I'll be wiping off this excess here. So now I am going to dry it with my heat gun and as it dries, um, what will start to happen is all those cracks will start to form and it takes a little bit of time to dry. If you don't have a heat gun you can just place it aside and come back to it later but you can use a heat gun on it. So I've just started to dry it and you can see already here there's some cracks forming where there was thin amounts of the um, paint and then where it's thicker it's starting to come in and so now you'll see more of that coming in and forming bigger cracks. So now we've dried a little more and you can see 
more cracks forming there. And then um, these big areas are still sort of clumpy, but they've sort of separated. So a lot of it has cracked. It's a little warm. I'm just going to, I think it's still wet. Oh, it's sort of hard in areas. It's not completely dried all the way through, but um, it is hard. So I think that's going to be the extent of our cracking. This area is probably a little wet under there. So where it was really thick, you don't get a lot of cracks. You can see these big spots, but that adds different texture. Whereas here you have all different types of cracking going on. I'm just going to dry it a little more just to harden the underneath before we apply our next layer. Okay, so I just need to cool this down a little. It's hot from the heat gun. And you can also see how it's picked up some of that yellow that's underneath. So it's no longer completely white. Um, it's now yellow from the paint underneath. So now all I'm going to do is paint another layer of paint. I'm going to use ginger peach silks. And so what will happen is in the cracks, it's going to be a lot, the color is going to be a lot darker than on top of um, the paint. And so you can play around with different color combinations to make some really interesting textures. Just finish painting here. There we go. And then I could just try that and you have a really interesting background for any of your paper projects. So that is the crackle paint by Viva color. Um, distributed by Splash of Color. Well, that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca. And on our next episode, I'm showing you the Faber-Castell White Pit Pen. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.